This is going to be the only MultiMC tutorial you will have to watch. I will explain what MultiMC is, how to download it, how to set up different versions with two examples and the other features. There will be timestamps on this video so you don't have to waste any time with stuff that you already know. Alright, so MultiMC is basically a different Minecraft launcher that you can use. You can install it on your D drive so that your C drive is cleaner and your PC can run faster. Once it's set up, it's easier to install different kinds of versions, for example, Forge mod packs, Fabric mod packs, you don't need to have a Technic launcher or Curse Forge or anything like that. And it's easy to customize stuff, so for example, you can change your skin within the launcher, you can change the Java path, how much memory it's supposed to use, and much more. Alright, so let's get to installing MultiMC. In the description there are many, many links probably uh, with download stuff. So just go to the first one, which is multimc.org. I'm just gonna download the Windows one. It's gonna be in a zip file, so you need WinRAR or 7-zip to unzip it. I'm just gonna open it up. And you have a folder. It's a portable program, that means you can put it anywhere on your computer uh, where you want. So on my D drive I have a folder called Programs. I'm just gonna drag and drop the folder onto the Programs folder. And that's basically it. You can just open it up and here we have the multimc.exe. You can even uh, take this folder and just put it on a stick and, and on your friend's PC you could use your same multimc launcher. But that's not the point right now, so I'm just gonna open it up. Alright, first of all you have to select the language that you want to use, so I'm just gonna choose American English. And then it might tell you that you don't have Java installed yet. I did have it installed, but I uninstalled it just for this video. Now when installing Java, I'm gonna do this also on my D drive now, because I don't want to have Java on my C drive. So go to the second link, uh, I'm gonna get Java 8 first, because that's what you need for the Minecraft version 1.8.9, and also Java 17 later on, because that's for the newer Minecraft versions. So I'm gonna go here to Windows 64, and download that one. While it's downloading, also comment down below why you want to get MultiMC. Um, I personally did it for my C drive, but there might be other reasons, so I'm kind of interested. All right, it's now installed, so let me open it up. Just gonna click on next. Down here, you can change the path that you want to install it to, so I'm gonna install it on my D drive. D, new folder, Java. Okay, it's Java's now, whatever. Oh, it's again asking me to put it in a folder, so let me just do that once again and close it down. All right, let's go back to MultiMC. And now I can add an instance here. So I'm gonna start it with 1.8. On my old channel, I once released a Forge mod pack called the Chicken Client, so I'm gonna show you how to install that one. Okay, so you go to Add Instance, then select 1.8.9. This also, by the way, works for any other Forge mod pack. Just, um, I'm just gonna call it 1.8.9 Forge, and click on OK. Then right click it, go to Edit Instance, and here on the right, you can already click on Install Forge. You can also install Light Load or whatever that is. But I'm just gonna install the recommended Forge version. There we go. Close it down. Then right click again, open the Minecraft folder. And then I'm just gonna drag and drop all of this into here. It's also gonna be in the description if you wanna get the chicken client, but it's it's not really all that great. It's kinda just a fun FPS mod pack that I made. There we go, that's done. Close it down and I'm just gonna click on it. It's also going to ask you to log in, so I'm just going to click on this link, then put in the code that's over here, and then I can log in with my Microsoft account. All right, my account is now added, so let me close that down and open up Forge. Now here in the console windows, it tells me that the Java binary couldn't be found, so let me close it down again, right click, edit instance, then go down to the settings, Java installation, tick this, click on audit detect, refresh, and here we go. And click on OK and launch it again. The first time is gonna take quite a while, uh, but there we go, it's now open. Let me just do some settings. There we go, now it's fixed. So yeah, everything works, you can join on servers and all that stuff. And I don't think it really took that long. Another feature that you can use is edit instance, go to settings, and then the memory. Here you can change how many megabytes it has to be used, minimum and maximum. All right, and now I'm also gonna show you how to install the 1.18.2 fabric. That basically means that is normal 1.18.2, but really good optimized, better than Optifine. So it'll also be in the description, uh, the iris installer, just gonna open that one up. Then select the edition iris and sodium, 1802, but click install as fabric mod. Then I'm gonna choose my desktop, and after that just hit install. It's gonna give you this mods folder over here with those two mods, and now I'm gonna show you how you can set it up in MultiMC. So create a new instance, 1802, click on OK, edit instance, then over here, don't click on install and install Forge, but click on install Fabric. Then the newest one. There we go, now we have the Fabric loader in there. Then over here there's loader mods. Just drag and drop those two into here. And we have Iris and Sodium installed. 
Now, if you started it like this, it would crash because you have Java 8 selected. So you need to install Java 17 first. Uh, as I said, OBS crashed, so I already did that. It's not different from installing Java 8, so just scroll back to that. Once you're done with that, go to Java installation, auto detect, and select the 17 version. Click on OK and click on launch. All right, it's opened up and it works. You can also install other things if you just create an instance from the AT launch, for example. You can install Pixelmon, Sky Factory. You can install mod packs from CurseForge, such as RLCraft, all of the mods. You can install stuff from the Technic launcher. And you can even install zip files. So if your friend made a multi-MC version, he could just send you that version. And I think it's a really great launcher. That's the end of the tutorial. If it helped, please leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions, just comment them down below. I will answer. On the end screen, you will see my texture pack that I made for Minecraft PvP and Bedwars. It increases FPS a bit, so check it out if you want to. But other than that, have a nice day. Bye-bye. What do chickens study at college? Ergonomics.